Going on an adventure. That's amazing. What is up, locker heads? We are here in somewhere in Long Island City. I don't know. There, I I'm at a different facility than I thought I was going to. If you're honest, <laughs> um, I bought this room because in the pictures you could see high-end shoes, but also like you, there were some bags for the company Bergdorf or whatever. There was a hanger that said Bergdorf, Bergdorf Goodman, which is I know is a good company, and Bergdorf. It's a very nice. Nothing's in their pockets. Wool coat. That is a very, very nice wool coat. Got some good stuff here. We got a blue cane. Wonder if it's tall enough for Corey. Not it's even close. definitely not tall enough for Corey. That's like for a little guy. <laughs> but that's going to be a good hit at the flea market. Oh, yeah. As you guys see in the flea market videos, everybody tries to. That's like somebody who's like. Five. Buy Corey's cane. <laughs> I'm not going to go through these right now. Oh, we got more shoes and bags. That's great. Take this stuff out. So let's look at these quick. Oh, these are all oh, high-end shoes. So I want to really give these justice, so we're going to look at these later. Yeah, they were kept very nice. They have the shoe uh, things inside. Let's see if any of them are still in the boxes or if they're just in there, and then we have to put them in the boxes. That's funny. No, we have to put them in the box. Okay. But they have the boxes though, so that makes them more valuable. And what's the brand? It's a boot by Adam and Derek. Like I said, they're empty. But we can figure out which ones go where. Because they're obviously a lot of them are there. Those are really good yeah. Oh, we only paid $160 for this room, which I think is a steal. Oh yeah. Oh, oh this has something. Oh, paper. Paperwork there. Go back. All right, let's get the box out first. Wow, there's a lot more shoes than I thought. And those are shoe horns or spacers, whatever they're called. All right, some good high-end clothes. Awesome. Definitely saw a Paul Stewart shirt. Look at this shirt. really nice suede jacket. Oh, wow. Polo. Ralph Lauren's polo. Suede jacket. Really a higher end one because this one's made in Italy. And it, this looks like the lining for a jacket. It could be. It could be for this one. Oh, it's a vest by Loro Tiana. I'm not familiar with that company, but let's get huh. this one here. I'm okay with that. Oh yeah. Oh, you got me. Oh. Mm. There is a ring. It's got a spacer in it. No, it's a button. Oh. <laughs> It is Hallmark 925. Awesome. I don't know if it is. We'll test it when we get home. What's in this bag? Let's look at stuff in here. This is more paperwork. More papers. Got some remotes. <laughs> or pictures or whatever. I'd actually be surprised. A lot of remotes sell on eBay for decent money. Oh, nice belt. That's a really, really nice belt. It looks like you got a walkie-talkie down there. Yep. We're going to leave the paperwork in there and put this all back so we okay. get back to them. More shoes and shoe horns. Stuff like that. Get the paperwork and passports and stuff. It's in this box. Oh, it's a really very, very nice book. Is it a journal? Yeah, but it's like leather. That's bound. nice. It's really good company. Sweet. Found it in this thing. Ooh, with a lock. Yes. is up locker heads we are back we told you we'd come back once we got over here we had to get out of there fast it's long island city long island city sucks it's a headache so we like to get in and out as fast as possible and then it was even better locker than we thought we thought we had like 10 to 15 pairs of sneak shoes men's shoes um right now so far we've only gone through about half of the stuff maybe a little more than half of the stuff 
And we have 20 pairs, plus there's three by themselves that we have to try and find friends for, which I'm pretty sure they most all have friends for it. Um, They're so lonely. They have each other. We've been doing a bit of research on these. We're not exactly 100% sure of the prices of all of them, but the majority of them, on average, are from 50 to 150. Um, amazing, we only paid $160 for this locker. And let me not forget the belts that are in my hands. This is the most beautiful belt I've ever seen. Not this one, hold on. This one. Look at the stitching on this, guys. Single stitch. Oh no, double cross stitch. Uh, really, it's like the softest leather I've ever felt in my entire life. And uh, this belt is like 50 to 100. And I think the rest of these are like 35 to 75. So that's for belts right here is like normally on a locker. I'd be happy if we just got this much profit. Um, let me put these down and start picking up this stuff. This, we don't really know what this is, but since how good all the other stuff was similar to it, we want to like try and look it up better. It's Hunter's world. Um, this hat is the same brand as the coat. And they're going anywhere from 75 to 250. <laughs> so uh, I don't really exactly know how to price it because new with tags, they go for like 350. I don't get it. <laughs> the quality is really good though. I will say that these gloves are about 25 to 40. Those are from Bergdorf. Bergdorf. Then these are the same brand as the coat again, Loro. And these were 75 to 150 again. And he looked up this note. I mean, I looked up this notebook, which I realized is the same name as a bunch of those shoes, the higher end shoes, actually. And it's Ermin Gildo Zagna. And it's actually made of fabric. It's really nice. And similar ones, I couldn't find the exact one, but similar ones are going from 30 to 50 bucks for this, which I don't know. I don't ask questions anymore. I've been in this business long enough. Um, this is a coach men's like passport holder and I'd probably say 15 to 50. Um, looks vintage. It looks more vintage so I would say probably closer to the 50. Uh, I didn't get it to look this one up yet, but I'm going to say probably 15 to 20. I don't, didn't recognize the name. This thing, I can't find this exact one, but a similar one is listed for 190. I'm only going to list it for 50 and see where it goes. Um, this book... Is listed for 190 130 only problem is ours is damaged so we're going to start the bidding at 50 and hopefully it sells uh it's a mont blanc the mont blanc diary and collector's guide by jens rosler <laughs> rosler rosler but has the, 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 oh the double dots you guys i'm sorry so that's probably a, i'm a, terrible that's probably a guy I'm a terrible person. No, those are empty. No, those are empty. <laughs> I trolled you. But, um... Yeah, I mean, there's, like, the brand... Some of the brands that we have here are... Uh, we do have a pair of Louis Vuitton. We have a pair of Gucci. One of them is Sutor, Mans... Um, Mal 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 Messi. I can't pronounce it. Uh, it's... There's some that we just can't pronounce. There's, and we have five or six pairs of these, and these are worth... Towards the like hundred yeah. dollar range, a little hundred fifty. Shout out to Michelle, who was the first to discover that name. You Stefano, um, Bala the Derek, the Derek, Adam Derek, um, John Varvados. There's all, all Le Chameau, Le Chame. And it's insane, but uh, there's a lot. I mean. There is another pile of clothes in that room, but we're not even done going through it. But there was Louis Vuitton pants, a bunch of like the the, the E word had like two or three vests. Ermenegildo. Yeah. There's like two or three vests. I never thought we would get a better shoe collection than the last locker we had on number fifty. Have a link 50. in it below. I'll link right it below. below. But um, I never thought we would have a nicer shoe collection than that. Because that was all Gucci shoes and stuff. But and we these, had, what, 10 pairs about? Like 10 or 11. Yeah. No, like 13 pairs. Yeah. This is triple that. So. Yeah. And they all have shoe horns. And, 
I think that's what they're called. I think the shoehorns themselves are worth money, to be honest with you. Yeah, they're all this. I mean, some of them are different, but they're all the Two Boot New York by Adam Derrick. Which is, I, I'm going to look them up, but I think those are worth like 20 bucks I mean, it's this quality. I can't stop looking at it. It's, they're beautiful, you guys. My look favorite, at these. My favorite ones are the ones that almost look like Oscar skin. These are my favorite. These. These are the only Derek, Adam Derricks, I think. Because they look like old school, like... These are Adam Derricks, look. But, like, look at the leather. It's like... I think it is ostrich. No, ostrich is the one that has the dimples. Yeah, but look, it has dimples. No. Like, round. Perfectly round. But then what is this? This isn't regular leather. No, it's not. Because, look, it has the little dots. Maybe it's really, like, baby ostrich? Oh. Cause look, you see? Is it turkey? Gravity? G-R-A... Gravita. <gasps> we may have the box for that! Gravati! It does, I didn't say anything. These didn't are really just hard, but... ridiculous. You can, I can't stop looking at them. I know these, right? They're so nice. These, oh, right? Get out of here, mister! This is not your moment to shine. It's their moment to shine. Even the rain boots are high end. All of our friends. Le Chameau. Not Shamu, Chameau. Hey, locker heads. I just wanted to give you guys a quick look. Um, but this locker is amazing. Uh, so I think if you look here, last night, um, I know this sold, this sold, and this sold. And it was three hundred and fifty dollars. Um, what else was there? Oh, shoes! More shoes sold. Here, let me just show you these again. Look at this. And this is our setup. In case you guys were wondering, we have lights. Don't mind the mess. It's been insane. We've been buying lockers like crazy. For the first time in a while. And we hang them on the door. And the lights make it really good with the light. But um. This stuff still needs to be shot. And these have holes in them. Um. And this her mom might want. But these have holes in them. And. I didn't think they would be good. But the company. We sold stuff with smaller holes. And people are still still. To still buying it for $70 a piece. Uh, we spent... Just think about this, guys. We spent 160 bucks on this locker. And so far, it's been seven days. No, not even seven days. What am I talking about? We bought it on Thursday. So Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So it's been six days. Okay, it's almost seven. Um, no, that's not even right. I can't do days, guys. Leave me alone. But, um... We've made 1300 no, more than that. We've made 1600 and we still have, like, one, two, three, four, five, so we still have, like, six or seven coats left, 30-something, or 25 pairs of shoes left, and a bunch of these shirts. These aren't even shot yet. And like I said, we still have to shoot these pants and shirts. And there's still some stuff in the garage we haven't looked through yet. So, we're going to keep you updated. Alright. What is up, locker heads? We are here with the final recap of this locker. Um... The reason we're really confident in this is because we've sold about 90% of the items in it. So we can give you a pretty solid number and then a quick estimate of some of the other stuff that's left. Um, and just a side note, my hip isn't really doing well, but I am going to two new doctors for third and fourth opinions. Because um, I, I got sick of my other doctors because they were giving me appointments in like um, November and, and January. So whatever that, that was gone. But um, so far to date, with about 90% of what we've sold, we've made $3,445.50. <laughs> exactly. 
Plus, there was another 300 plus, but um, we told you about that with the post office messing it up. I think it was three or about four, three or 400, I'm not exactly sure. Um, and we're actually fighting the case on eBay, and we actually got one of them. We were able to get the money back for because the guy spit on the shirt. The pictures that he sent us of the damage, you, you can see like there was one little small tiny, it looked like a pencil prick hole. That's fine. But then he spit on the shirt. So we got a refund for that. He got his money, we got our money, whatever. Uh, so we're still waiting for the other shirts to be delivered to us. Um, we hopefully there's not spit on those either, or he's going to be screwed over. I mean, I hope there's spit on them for our sake, but, uh, what do you call it? So we're still fighting there. And part of that money is $136 and that's in bids still. And the shoes that do have the bids are called Montalasi. Right? Sutor Montalasi. Sutor Montalasi. And all the Sutor Montalasis before this have went for 50 to 75 And they have a lot of washers. And I'm hoping they go a little higher. Um, plus there's the 10% of stuff that isn't listed yet. Or hasn't, you know, whatever. Uh, there's probably another three to 500 bucks. There's some nice suspenders. Nice Louis Vuitton shirts and stuff like that. But we wanted to show you some of these items. And... You guys, if you want to go look up how much they cost, unfortunately for us, they had a lot of, not a lot, but enough damage that it really dropped the price on them. But um, if you go to their website and see like the current, like stock, it's like thousands of dollars, these items. Insert picture here. Um, one of the ones is I think $19,995 or something I didn't like that. believe it, so I had to take a screenshot of it. And <laughs> At first we thought it might be fake, but then we found, um, he worked at the store and we found all the receipts and stuff that he had. So everything was real. It was amazing. We had to give the receipts back, but, um, we actually found them. It was pretty freaking cool. But let me just show you a few of these items. This is the trench coat. Yep. This one actually hasn't sold yet. It's up on, e on eBay right now. Starting bid is $99. And you can see it's like a storm system, so it's good for rain and yada yada. And the inside's nice. The outside's nice. There's really nothing wrong with this one. Um, it's in really good condition, so if you guys want to check it out. And then, what was this one? That's the Bagoli. That's not the one that sold. Okay. This, this one's still up. Bagoli. This is still active. I love this one because of the inside. It looks tan, and then you turn it, and it looks blue. It's so weird looking. This is Bagoli for Bergdorf. And that was why I bought this locker, guys. There was a bag that said Bergdorf Goodman. And if you remember, the last locker we got with the high-end shoes, I saw the Brooks Brothers bag. And that's an indicator. And I've told you guys, if anyone that's thinking about getting into it, um, look for indicators like that. Because we got this room for 160 bucks. This is the Beretta jacket. This uh, is not sold yet. Not sold. It has a few washers on it. We're probably going to list it for... It's at 60 right now, I think. We're going to list it for like 40 later it's on. very high quality. Um, Let's go to this one. This Is, is that the, the Bagoli that sold? This, I believe... Yep, this is the Bagoli that sold for 99 Very good. Um, A bunch of the stuff that sold initially... Like there was one that sold for 300 and one that sold for 200. Alyssa is going to put one of those, whichever she decides right now. Bing. Literally sold in five minutes of listing it. Um, this is just the Brooks Brothers. Let me look for one of the nicer ones. Oh. That coat. That's it. This is the, I can't pronounce the name. Ermenegildo Zenia. You have to resend me these pictures. This is our men and Gilda. Oh, wait. This is a reverse one that you yeah. did pictures of. This one? Huh? I did the black reversible one. We could do pictures more. We could do all the pictures. This is another... This is the brand, okay? This is like my favorite brand, though. I like the style. Ermene Gildo Zenya. I just like saying it. It's fun to say. Um. Oh, here we go. 
This is the Ralph Lauren jacket? Yep, I showed you the size, uh, this listing earlier. I'll put it back in. Just because we're taking a closer look at it. I mean, this one's beat up, but it's... it's got some schmutz, but... It's a lambskin one. Um, this is, is like the higher end Ralph Lauren. Like very your... high end. This is the Bergdorf Ralph Lauren, not the Macy's. Yeah. This is Brooks Brothers. It's like just a nice Brooks Brothers coat. It's, I like this. I've never I seen this like this I love this before. pattern. This pattern is so nice. <clears throat> And what is this one again? That's Ralph Lauren or Bergdorf. It's Bergdorf Goodman. We do have a Ralph Lauren one that looks exactly like it, but I don't, I don't think. Is this listed yet? That one is not listed. We have uh, the Ralph Lauren that's also not listed. This is the other one. That's the reversible, the other reversible or Mena Gildo Zenia. And those are listed for maybe $50 mm -hmm. or $40, somewhere in that range. And this, I believe, is. um. Other side. Well, it says fine cashmere. Fine cashmere. And. Ermena Gildo. That one again. I call it the Ermagerd. <laughs> the Ermagerd. Ermagerd Merch Perturters. If you guys don't know that meme, here it is. And Bergdorf Goodman. That's. Oh my god, it's so soft. I wish it fit this, me. I want to get listed. It's a really, really nice Levi B shirt. Um, probably from like a higher end store, not like Macy's. Because you could feel the, the the denim quality is just like higher. It might have actually been from Levi itself. Like the. Did website. I ever list this yet? I don't think I did. This is I Tana? took pictures of all of this stuff from here on and I sent it to you a few days ago, so probably oh, wait. not. Hold on, stay there for a second, guys. Staying. I'm just going to show you these a little bit. We got the Brooks Brothers. We got the Brooks. And then this is my personal favorite from the locker. Giorgio. And here, these sold. This is the corduroy. It sold. It sold for less than I really wanted it to. This quality, you guys, is outraged. I wish you could feel. I I don't like corduroy. Yeah, it's it's really amazing stuff over here. But I want to snuggle that jacket. Um, also, like the shoes, I know you saw them. But these are both filled. Yep. This one. A lot of these are bid on or sold. And we're starting the bidding low on everything. Um, you know, because of my hip and everything, we need to just move stuff as fast as possible. It's not like it used to be where we could really sit on stuff. But uh, stuff is selling. Every time I put something up, it gets a bid or it sells, depending. Um, and also, I want to thank all of the new subscribers. We've been getting a lot more of you guys. Uh, the locker with the drug dealer uh, seems to be getting a lot of views recently. And I understand what people are saying. Baggies and scales are not illegal. But in New York City, say we get pulled over and there's baggies and scales in the car, they could search the entire car. When you buy storage lockers, I don't look at everything in the, the facility. So if we get pulled over and just say there's a scale on baggies, then they're going to go through the whole car. And if I hadn't looked through every piece and there was like some drugs in the car. Hidden in a shoe. Hidden in a shoe. Which happened it's happened lot, before. I don't want to even take that chance. So if I find stuff like that, I always give it in. Because in New York City, you can get pulled over for no reason. They won't even give you a ticket unless they got pulled over. They could have also found that counterfeit money. Yeah, they could have found the counterfeit money if they were making because money. Because, you guys, I love you, but it was not real. No, that It money, was not even close. The reason we know that is all the serial numbers are the same. Money doesn't have repeating serial numbers. And if you guys saw it in person, you'd be like, oh, okay, I get it. But um, we did want to say thank you for subscribing to all the new subscribers. Thank you to the loyalty of the old, old subscribers. Um, we will be doing a 25,000 subscriber giveaway. And... I think that's pretty much it for now, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!